This is a Battle of Britain class a bullied light Pacific, built in 1948 and sent to the scrapyard in 1965. So, what is this thing on the front? Does it tell the time? No, actually these two levers hold the smoke box door closed. The first lever is a clamp, it clamps the door closed. So we'll uh, undo that one, it's quite a bit of winding going on. I apologise for the anti-aircraft fire going off in the background, but after all this is a Battle of Britain class locomotive. The opening lever is now loose. It's held in position with some locking tabs, so we just need to wiggle them forwards a little bit. And then the door is ready to open. Just pull it 90 degrees to the left or to the right, it doesn't make any difference. And the door becomes open. We'll have a closer look at that in a minute from a different angle. The vertical receiver is actually called a crossbar, even though it doesn't go across, it goes up and down. Let's do this again close up. I think, see the uh, both the handles there? We loosen that one up. Obviously, that one is the threaded one. Plenty of winding to do. It's a little bit awkward. There we, go. we wind that off quite a, quite a lot sometimes. You see the locking tabs lift it out a little bit and then rotate 90 degrees. Then we can open the door. We slow this down so you can see the dart coming out of the crossbar. There we go. This end of the dart has some uh, curved corners. On the left hand side, you see on the right, it's square. Here we go. If we take a look at where the dart goes through the door, you'll be able to see the square machined part that the opening mechanism goes on to. Okay, let's remove and inspect each of these parts in turn because after all, they do do a very important job by keeping this door closed. <laughs> this is certainly the biggest wind-up toy steam engine I've ever played with. Well, that's the clamping handle off. See the uh, round thread in there. Let's pop that down out of the way. Next is what I'm going to call the locking handle. That has a square hole through it. If you know the real name of these handles, let me know in the comments below. Right, this long spindle here, as we've mentioned before, is called a dart. You can see the threaded end, and then that moves on to the machined square part, which the handle slides onto so it can be rotated to open the door. Right, let's have a closer look at that. We'll take it out of the door. So we grab hold of the end of the flight part of the uh, of the dart. Withdraw that from the door. We pop that on the floor with the uh, two handles and have a quick look at those. As you can see, the leading edge of the flight of the dart has its corners rounded off to help it into the eyelets of the crossbar. It's time now to reassemble this and get this door closed. First of all, we pick up the dart and then we place that into the smoke box door. The center of the door. Pop in there a little bit. Making sure the dart is in vertical position, we slowly and gently close the door, making sure the dart goes through the crossbar. There we go. Oh, the door is closed. Bullseye. Next we reach down and pick up the locking handle which has the square centre in it, that's the one. 
Remember the dart is in the unlocked position, so the handle must be placed in there at 90 degrees. There we go, we're on. Now I'll rotate that to the bottom, so it sits inside them locking tabs. Pull the dart forwards, there we go, just take up any slack, there we go, and that's in position. Then we pick up the clamping handle. The round centre with a thread in it. Pop it on there. Make sure threads, threads get started. And we're off. Winding, winding and more winding. We'll wind that till it just nips up. And then just have a bit of a shake and settle things down and wind it some more. Now is everything anything loose? A little bit more. By winding the handle, we are putting some tension on the dart, which is actually on the uh, on the rear of the crossbar, which is pulling the door closed. So now it's firmly in position. It's nipped up. Let's close, we've checked the seal both sides. We don't do it too tight, otherwise the front of the door will actually cave in. Did you know this very steam locomotive was on the red carpet recently? Well, check out our previous videos. But before you do that, make sure you subscribe because you don't want to miss another video from Southern Locomotives Limited who are the Railway Maniacs.